All right, so with the lack of snow, as I said, I'm able to drive right in. I park right here. All right, that's looking down the hill to where I continue to go hunting and other stuff. So this is about 3K in from the gate. Well, I call it the gate. All right. And then I walk in here. So today we're just out. You can see that nothing's frozen yet. Um, <laughs> we haven't had a very cold winter. So there's a lot of water everywhere. A lot of the creeks and rivers and whatnot are still flowing uh, due to no cold. Now they're calling for some cold uh, this weekend starting, but what they're calling cold isn't cold for January for here. It's actually very mild. Well above seasonal norms. So I brought some dry tinder today that I've had in the truck. Gonna just see if we can't get the fire going a little easier than the last time that we were in here. Using the flint. Gotta right, sneak under some of this stuff here. Now, very icy in here from the rain that we had back in on Christmas Eve. Some of the wood I cut split when I was in here last week. All right, quite the climb up that little hill. So here we are. We're up and in. See if we can't get a fire going. Gather up some, some branches, some tinder. Get the fire started. Lots of it in here. You know, just even this stuff. You know, it's all dry. All these branches in here. Lots of it. Lots of it down. Like these, these are dead already, these bottom branches. Here most of them snap very easily. The ones are dry. But then we come in here and get all kinds of it. Lots of it here. You know. But again, as I said, we had all that rain on Christmas Eve, it has made everything extremely wet, extremely damp. So a lot of it is a little tough starting for sure. Some of this down there. So I can take my pack off too, since I'm here. But I'll have to take my 
We'll grow up, I think. Or no, maybe I don't. Okay. So this is where I had the fire last time. Had a piece of bark in here. Let's grab this piece too. Put it in. Get my backpack off. I do want to record with both machines today. So, where's my GoPro, or my Samsung? Yes, I did. I'm gonna think about it. All right. Okay. Uh, once I get started here, get the bed for the fire ready. I'll uh, start videotaping again. Some sap once again, but as you guys can see, there is no shortage of balsam sap. I think I said fat balsam sap is what I'm going to use and being mild like it is it flows very freely and lots of it you know it's everywhere all kinds of pockets of it Right, and with the flint, that's what we're going to use. Not the flint, but the ferro rod. Rather. So we've got a bit of a base here started. Put this down in here. We've also got, uh, I got some poplar here, some dry poplar that I split up. All right, so we're gonna use the light my fire ferro rod. I'm gonna get the other camera set up, try and get this from both two angles if I can. See what we can do here. Uh, oh, I'm gonna go to apps, camera. And reverse it so it's not looking down to the ground where I want it to look down I want it looking at us there the case is in the way how's that here's the fire here Let's start recording on this guy, video camera. All right, and record. All right, All right. So, we're so we're recording on both. On both. And then, and then so as I said, we're gonna take our light my fire, fire and, and we're going, we're going to, to attempt, attempt to light, to light this, this today. today. A little easier, I hope. Lots, lots of, of lots, lots of spark, of spark. here. here. And it's just a, and matter, it's just a matter of the right getting the right one in there. One in there. See here. There we go. Here we go. Caught. Caught.
other stuff in there. All right, get some more tinder here. Some small stuff. Dead branches here, just snap. So it took me a, took lot, me a lot less, less time, time with a light my fire fail rod. rod. But, I but I also used, used some drier tinder, tinder that I've been gathering, been gathering up and leaving in the truck. In the truck. And, I and I usually try to gather, gather some, some up every trip. Every trip. Put, it Put it in my tinder bag. bag. No. Nope. So you can feel so the frost in this wood. Some small stuff going here so we don't lose it. Again, this stuff readily accessible, so don't have to go far. Lots of balsam in here. Lots and lots of balsam in this part of the bush. Some of the frost off of some of this stuff. It's poplar, and poplar is dry. It burns extremely quick. So, just trying to get some more dry stuff in there. Keep it going. You know. As dry, it's snapping like it should. See you can fast. see how fast that stuff, stuff burnt, burnt down, down here. Down here. Again, it's, it's all, all very wet, wet in the rain, the rain we had. All right. All right. So I'm going to get, so get this going, going a little faster, a little harder, a little harder. and, uh, and uh, we'll get I'll get back with you guys here in a little while. while. So um, I put some dry poplar in there. You can hear the poplar snapping. It's really dry, some of it. Uh, but I've got some spruce and balsam in there right now. I think that spruce that's on there. It's a little punky, but it's uh, still going to burn. So we're going to go and just cut up a few more of these small deadfalls here for the fire. Uh, just some of the smaller pieces here just to burn and clean up. As I said, there's lots. You can see everything in here uh, as we go. Actually, over here is a dry poplar. Poplar burns extremely well. It 
burns extremely, extremely well. Bit of snow on it. I just ordered myself a new spen saw today. So I can use that both when I'm canoeing summertime. And I'm looking at a silky saw as well here down the road. Try and see that little guy. This is a Coglin saw here. This poplar here. You guys can see it. Take these up. Put them over the fire. No snow, you guys can see that. It's uh, dry. Dry, dry winter so far, other than, you know, the rain we had. A lot of heat in there. Oh, I got my glasses. I can feel it. All right, get some of this stuff to dry. Same time. All right. Like, even this stuff here. You can see how dry that is in there. That's dry. No weight to this stuff. That's how dry it is. Branches will burn. Fire still going. It's gonna dry some of that up. Stuff everywhere here. The antenna is still up. I didn't bring a radio today. The antenna is up. It's my everyday carry there, the green guy that you see. I like to carry that with me when I'm in the bush, go on a long hike or something. So I did cut up some more wood when I was in here last time. Might pick some of that up today, just to stop it from being buried in the snow. Calling for some more snow in the next couple of days, a little bit here and there. I'm thinking of 
putting a shelter up here this winter as well, maybe over the next month or so. Come up in here and try a teepee style or something up here with a tarp. Clean an area out up here. Somewhere in here, even right there. You can hear the fire snap in here. But there's no fresh tracks. Uh, this is probably fox here, but they're not fresh. There's snow covering them. I don't see any fresh rabbit tracks neither. There were rabbit in here when I was in here last. Mind you, here's fresh right there. That's today because it's been snowing. I actually probably just scared him up and in when I was walking up and in here because those are fresh. Got snowshoe hair, but we'd never see him because they're white. Tough to spot them. They sit very still. Yeah, you can see that branch in there. Looks like he's been gnawing on that branch that's in there. Gnawing at the bark. Yeah, he didn't go too far. Looks like he was under the tree. So not sure. But the tracks go from there. So there's a little bit of everything in here. Some birch, of course spruce. Pine. Oh, nose is running, guys. Sorry. It's absolutely quiet out here. No dogs today. No birds. Jet going over right now. That's about it though. Quiet. Absolutely quiet. Some of the wood I cut up last time is in here. This is perfect overnight weather, what we've got now for overnight winter camping. That's for sure. So time to fix the fire up. Everything fell over. Just added on a little bit of an extension on the side. Uh, because this is the northwest side where the wind would come out of. Um, what I've done is I just added a small side onto my lean-to here to try and, you know, protect a little wee bit out of the wind. I could come some more if I want. I probably will later. But uh, for now, I just wanted to throw a little bit more onto the edge, onto that edge. As you can see inside, 
Uh, I'll put some more boughs down there towards the bottom. Keep some of the wind out, some of the snow out. Build it up just a little bit more. And then uh, that'll add, be a little added protection there uh, on that corner out of the wind. So a few more loads of boughs there. And you can see on the roof here where the last time I had the fire going, how much warmer it got and melted the uh, snow there. This is just dry branches, that's all that is. Nothing more, nothing less. Lots of heat. And that's one of the reasons too why I put the rock in behind. You know, <clears throat> up against the reflector. 